Hey guys, Anna and Kyle here. Welcome back to our fifth episode of The Tribe. As you can see, this will be our spooktacular October themed episode. And we will also take a look at last week's Spirit Week. Let's, Let's get, get into, into Dress Up, up Day. Day. My name is Kyle Lamonte and I'm here with Jackie Racine, Olivia Mendy. What is your favorite day of Spirit Week going to be? It would probably be Green and White Day because we get to show off our school spirit. Mine's probably Dress Up Day because I get to see everyone dressed up and cute. Thank you. We are here with Alice and Sylvia. Chase Werner. How do you feel about Spirit Week this week? I think overall the days that they picked are pretty good this year, so I'm looking forward to the rest of the week. What is your favorite day of Spirit Week going to be? Uh, my favorite day has always been Green and White Day because I can wear my jersey and we can all just like dress up in Green and White. Thanks, Thanks you guys. guys. I am here with Colby Serpa. Colby, how do you feel about Spirit Week this week? It's a fun time for all the students and the staff. Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Harris and I am here with Liam Caulfield. You look very fancy today. Thank you. You're welcome. How do you feel about this year's Spirit Week? Oh, it's definitely going to be a lot of fun. There's some good days this year, so hopefully the seniors can take the win this year. Thank you very much. Dress up day was really something fancy. Let's get groovy with Hippie Day. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Harris and I'm here with Marquise Adams. Marquise, your outfit looks really good today. Thank you. You're welcome. What's going to be your favorite day to dress up this week? Probably green and white day because that shows the most school spirit. Thank you. I am here with Nathan Vieira, man. Nathan, your outfit looks really good today. Thanks, man. No problem. What's going to be your favorite day to dress up this week? Oh, probably Superhero Day, man. It's just so powerful, you know? Thank you. Hi, my name is Kyle, and I'm here with... Ashley. Brenna. What's your favorite day of Spirit Week going to be? Uh, green and White Day. Taurus Day. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. And I'm here with... Will Smith. Well, what's going to be your favorite day of Spirit Week? Taurus Day. Why? I like dressing up like a tourist. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Have a great day. And I'm here with Advika. Advika, how do you feel about this week's Spirit Week? I feel like it's a great opportunity for you know the students of the school to like be bonded together through like common ways to dress. It's a very nice. It's a very nice week. What's going to be your favorite outfit to wear this week? Probably my tourist outfit. I mean, like I just have like the greatest like amount of stuff in the wardrobe that I can dress myself with. So it's going to be pretty exciting. Thank you so much, and have a great day. Hi, my name is Kyle Lamonte and I'm here with Abby Keith, Sarah George. What's your favorite day of Spirit Week going to be and why? Um, green and White Day because that's when most people go all out and it's fun to see. Hippie Day because I get to wear these cool glasses. Thank you guys, have a great day. Hippie Day was definitely a relaxing day. But now, let's go meet some superheroes and villains. Hi, my name is Hannah Harris and I'm here with Coral Perry and Lexi Garcia. Um, what's your favorite day to dress up this week? Um, I liked Hippie Day because it was just a really relaxed day. Everyone was happy. It was nice to dress up. Um, I like Green and White Day because everyone goes all out and it's fun to see people dress up. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys. Have a great day. Hi, my name is Hannah Harris and I'm here with... Greg Martin. Greg, how do you feel about this week's Spirit Week? Um, I like it. It's, I think it's, all the classes pick good days, and um, tomorrow I going to be my favorite. What's tomorrow? Taurus Day. That's your favorite? Yeah. All right, thank you guys. I am here with? Tyrell. How do you feel about this week's Spirit Week? It's been all right. What's going to be your favorite day to dress up? Definitely hippie day because I am like the modern day hippie. So yeah. All right, thank you. Have a great day.
Superhero Day was definitely a blast. And now we've got a round trip ticket to Tourist Day. Hi, and I'm with Ava. Ava, what's your favorite day of Spirit Week going to be and why? Um, probably Green and White Day because we get to show our school colors and stuff. Thank you. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Vegas, and I'm here with Michael Kassar, Christoph Shadid. So, out of the five days, what is your guys' favorite spirit day? Happy day. Happy day. day. Alright, thank you guys so much. And I'm with? Oh, Norm Day. What's your favorite day of Spirit Week? Uh, I liked Happy Day. Thank you. And I'm here with? Dylan Senra. What's your favorite day of Spirit Week? Green and White Day. Thank you. I'm here with? Alex Barrachino. So, Alex, what's your favorite day of Spirit Week? Uh, Happy Day. Thank you. Have a great day. I'm here with Phelan Fortner. So, what's your favorite day of Spirit Week? Uh, Hippie Day. Thank you. I'm here with Brenna and Jaden. So, what is your favorite day? Taurus Day. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys. Have a great day. I'm here with Maddie, Brianna. What's your favorite day of Spirit Week? It's Taurus Day because I get to feel like I'm on vacation. Uh, mine is Superhero Day because I can be a superhero. Thank you guys. Have a great day. That was a really great vacation. Now let's take a look at our school spirit on Green and White Day. I'm here with Elena and Abby. What's your favorite day of Spirit Week? Uh, definitely Taurus Day. Green and White Day. Thank you. I'm here with Sarah Madeiras. Sarah, how do you feel about this year's Spirit Week? Um, some of these days were not my favorite, but it was still enjoyable. Um, what was your favorite day to dress up? Definitely Taurus Day, because I got to wear my bucket hat. Thank you. Have a great day. I'm here with... Malia Cafasso. So, Malia, what's your favorite day of Spirit Week? Dress up day. Thank you. Have a great day. And I am here with... Dom Bakari. Dom, how do you feel about this year's Spirit Week? I think Spirit Week was awesome this year. It's a great way to bring everyone in the school together and celebrate our school spirit. What was your favorite day to dress up? Uh, definitely Taurus Day. I had, a, I had a good time with that, carrying all my luggage around. So. All right. Thanks. Have a great day. I'm here with... Riley. What's your favorite day of Spirit Week and why? My favorite day of Spirit Week is Dress Up Day because I love dressing fancy and being really extra. Nice, thank you. Have a great day. I'm here with... Valentino Aiello. Nolan. How did you feel about this year's Spirit Week? Um, I thought it was a great week. Uh, a lot of people participated and I think it was just all around a fun time. You know, going into it, I wasn't too excited. I thought the days were lackluster, but I ended up going hard did what I had to do for my class and I had fun. That's good. What was your favorite day to dress up? Um, I definitely enjoyed um, Taurus Day was the best day because uh, the seniors picked it and we're the greatest class. Um, <laughs> I enjoyed uh, Superhero Day because I just like dressing up as a superhero because I already am one anyways. Alright, thank you guys. Have a great day.
girls soccer, crushing it. Volleyball, crushing it. Cross country, outstanding.
Uh, we lost our first game against Turkey, 2-1 in a close game, but none of us are worried. I think we got a great team this year. And, uh, Hits Clark and then Clark making a couple guys miss, and as you mentioned, all those. All those tickets. Ten, Makes the handoff. Jacobson keeps, and he fooled the entire Barstool defense. Fake, and once again, it is Jacobson as he falls, and he gets hit. 37 now. Another keeper by Jacobson. He's still making the plays out, but he's got a chance to hit the pylon. Makes a dive for it. Did he? It's actually he's still up. The referee in the middle of the field. The side judge. The side judge is low behind the play. I'm ready with the inside handoff. Caught bounce to the outside. That segment was really great. Yes, it was. Now let's get into this week's Monster Corner and Monster Weather. Welcome back to the Halloween installment of Monster Corner. Granted, it's not really a Halloween edition if it's still a monster, but eh. And today we're going to be doing the cap. Uh, no, no, not this. No, not this kappa. Next slide, next slide. Not, not this kappa. There we go. That kappa. Let's see, the kappa comes from Japanese origin and it's said to look like a turtle fused with about with an 11 year old child. And on top of its head is actually a dome that holds the water from its home, which keeps it powered. And the homes of the kappas are Japanese rivers and ponds. And Something that's also unique with the Kappas is they actually come in a variety of colors, ranging from green to blue. I know, it's kind of weird. Now, when it comes to Kappas, they were considered demons for the acts that they would commit. Now, some Kappas would commit harmless acts, such as looking up a woman's kimono, which was a Japanese dress, or tugging on a fisherman's line, but then they would start doing morbid stuff. Now, aside from those acts, the main thing that the Kappa would do is drown people, but not for their blood, but mainly to obtain their soul, which was housed in a orb called a Shiri Kodama. Now, over time, the Kappas would actually start to become a lot nicer in Japanese depiction. For one, they would actually start to become more fascinated with human culture to the point where they would learn Japanese and learn the art of sumo wrestling. And in return, they would teach humans their medicine techniques, which they were very skilled at, to the point where they can reattach their severed arms completely. And in Tokyo, Japan, there is a temple called Sogen, the Sogenji Temple, which is dedicated to the Kappas, when back in their ancient history, they helped save a village from a drought that ruined their farms. And also, in today's modern world, the Kappas are, have been put into video game installments, such as the latest one, Yokai Watch, this being one of their monsters, and Pokemon in the form of, I believe this is Lobo, 
lumbre. And that is it to the kappa. And for the weather, we have a mosh pit. Okay, so that is gonna be written the high 61, the low 30A. My name is Nick, my name is Nick. The chance of Sunday. Wait. Um, the chance of what? Uh, I'm in for 50 cents, well, 41%. Personas, I don't know why you brought me back here, because I hate all of you. And on Monday, it's going to be Halloween. It might be sunny, high 54, low 38. I really don't care. I hate all of you here. <laughs> on Tuesday, it's going to be high. 56, low, 41. Alright, alright. See, what the heck are you? What the heck are you? I'm a long shark. I really don't care, so... Wednesday is going to be sunny. Day 60s. What is this? What does it say, Monster Guy? I said low, 46. Good! You know how to read! Does they the high 62 the low 47? Can I have a break now? Friday, we're going to have tens of rains, highs 58, lows 41, and I can't believe first you people ruined my vacation, and then you bring me back to the weather with these guys. Who is he? This guy's a fucking head, and this guy has wings. I love you. We wish you happy Halloween. We wish you happy Halloween. We wish you happy Halloween. I am so getting my revenge on you people. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hello boys and girls, welcome to the spooky Halloween lunch cafeteria lunch. Today is going to be Domino's Pizza Day, veggie sticks, pasta salad, and fruit. Ooh. Hello everyone, my name is Spooky Elmo Puppet, and today is Tuesday. And lunch is soup, la cuisana roll, oven fries, carrots, and fruit. Now give me some apples, because I'm red. Give me some apples! Hello there, kitties. Today is Wednesday's lunch. It's going to be baked ziti with sauce and meat, steamed broccoli, bread, fruits. That's going to be the lunch. Bye. Welcome, kitties, to Thursday's lunch. Today is going to be teriyaki chicken on a bun, brown rice, mixed vegetables, and fruit. Ooh. Hello, everybody. My name is Elmo, Spooky Elmo again. Today's Friday's lunch is Nachos with ground beef and cheese, lettuce and tomato, baked beans and fruit. This week's episode was jam packed with spirit. I know. Now let's take a look at what's coming up next week on The, the Tribe. Tribe.